We're here in Lincoln Center at Mercedes Benz Fashion Week, and right now I'm gonna review the Lacoste show. I think they're gonna go back to their old tennis inspired look. And there was definitely lots of norm core, lots of outrageous, beautiful, intense patterns. And I really loved the clashing. Most designers that I've seen so far have been really matchy. They are matching all the accessories to the outfits. But in terms of this Lacoste show, so maybe you're wearing a lime green undershirt over a brown trench with a purple pair of shoes. And I'm loving the clashing. Also at the Lacoste show, there was lots of bold colors, including greens, purples, blues, cashmere, browns. But also alongside that, the runway structure was actually just classic. And I feel like that represented how Lacoste is going back to their basic old inspired tennis look, just like how the runway is basic and just like how it's original, like how it's supposed to be. I actually saw Victoria Justice again. I saw her at Becca Minkoff and also at Mara Hoffman. So that was quite a treat for me. Mara Hoffman definitely took a different take on fall winter 2015 than most designers I've seen. I had to say, I did love the show and all, but the room was not my favorite setup. It was kind of the basic traditional runway with the basic traditional bleachers. Mara Hoffman had more of a bohemian style fall winter planned out lots of white knit turtlenecks with maxi dresses over them, high slits, spaghetti straps, pinks, and old fashioned textiles with brown lines. I just wasn't that big of a fan. It wasn't for me, but I can definitely see it on some big celebrities who are more into that bohemian style. But I did like one look towards the very end. It was all white and gold, and it was very elegant, very elegante. So. Just quite a different take on fall, more of like a Beverly Hills type of fall, but still pretty chic. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and I'll see you guys next week.